bit about the church empowerment zones, these CEZs. I hear that referenced a lot within World Relief. I'm really excited about the potential within that way of, of approaching this important work. So tell us about CEZs and maybe if you could mention in particular the newest CEZ that's starting up there in Rwanda. Yes. Uh, uh, the CEZ um, is a geographic place. Um, an example, maybe uh, to give you a better picture, is Rwanda is divided into provinces mm. and then into districts and then into sectors. So the CEZ, we have 30 districts in the country. So the newest being Gisagara in the southern province, that is where we have started the recent church empowerment zone. We started this year in January. Now, this church empowerment zone has over 17 sectors. These are administrative boundaries that are established. Mm -hmm. So we'll put uh, our efforts around uh, this community. We start with three communities and then later we get into six communities, which at times covers really 40 to 50% of the coverage of the entire district. And this whole journey takes uh, between seven to 10 years uh, when we start uh, the journey. So what do we do when we get to this uh, community? One, our mission is to empower the church to serve the most vulnerable. Now, before we empower, we have to first know what is disempowering. And that comes through the different assessments, the different conversations that we have with the church leaders and getting to understand what are some of the beliefs that have been harmful? What are some of the value systems in the community? How does the community look at addressing poverty? What are the, some of the ways that uh, have harmed the unit and collaboration? What are some of the transformational development uh, principles that uh, they've seen that do not work. How do they see development? Um, how do they see the integration of word and deed, the physical and the spiritual? So we get into this assessment and then we are able to understand the different levels where we are going to start from. And uh, so we embark on the journey of really uh, understanding that uh, if we want to do transformation in a different way, it's not going to be about one church, one NGO, but it's going to be really a concerted effort of bringing every uh, church of Christ in the community to get together, respect each other for differences. If you come to church on Saturday, that's okay. If you go to church on Sunday, that's still fine. If you have long pants, short pants, let's not fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.